Hi, I'm Mr. New Jersey. Today, I want to tell you the legend behind one of our state's strangest roadside attractions, the Palace of Depression. Many decades ago, a man named George Daner made his fortune mining gold in Alaska, but he lost his money in the devastating San Francisco earthquake of 1906. Daner then moved across the country to New York City, where he made another fortune trading on the stock market. He lost that fortune as well, this time due to the 1929 stock market crash that led to the Great Depression. At this point, Daner felt dejected and hopeless, having only seven dollars left to his name. But then, everything changed. Daner says that an angel appeared and guided him on a two-week walk all the way to Vineland in South Jersey, where land was being sold for a dollar an acre. When Daner finally arrived in Vineland, he was told that only one plot of land was left on offer, and Daner decided to buy it, without even looking at it first. The plot turned out to be a junkyard filled with mud and scrap. Daner fell asleep on the plot, the only thing he had left, that first night. According to Daner, the angel appeared to him again in a dream, and gave him a marvelous idea, saying that he could use the materials from the junkyard to build a grand palace. Daner took up the challenge, and spent the next several years constructing a palace out of mud, scrap, and junk. He named his masterpiece the Palace of Depression. Daner completed the palace in 1932 and opened it up to visitors. Tourists and curiosity seekers began showing up in droves. The palace remained a tourist attraction until 1957. That year, after a kidnapping occurred in the area, Daner put on a publicity stunt where he lied to the FBI that the kidnappers had visited the palace. For the crime of lying to the FBI, Daner was thrown in jail for a year, and by the time he got out, he found that his palace had been severely vandalized. He eventually went into a nursing home and died in poverty. In the years that followed, the Palace of Depression fell into even further disrepair, and was eventually demolished. However, this story does have a happy ending. A local group is currently working to rebuild the palace, complete with a visitor center and regularly scheduled tours, mostly using the original junk materials left over from when the palace was demolished. The palace isn't quite finished yet, but it's getting very close, and those working on it are already able to offer tours to those who reach out by email and to set up a time in advance. I will link the group's Facebook page in the video description so you can find out more. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the Palace of Depression today, and I hope you'll go and visit it soon. If you want to hear more about New Jersey's weird and zany places, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next time.